Let us say we want to assign a unique number to each mobile object. The first object should be given a number 1000 and subsequent objects should have that value increased by 1. We can accomplish this by using a combination of static and instance variables as shown below. Look at this example. So we have a class mobile and we have a static variable named as counter. And within this unit method, we have attributes like price, and brand and one more attribute named as mobile ID. So what we do is mobile ID is, is being assigned with this counter, mobile.counter, the static data member variable is accessed using a class name. We know that very well. Now after assigning it, we increase it. So what will happen is every single time a mobile object is created, the, when the mobile ID is assigned, mobile counter value is assigned, then counter value is incremented. When the second object is called, the new value 1001 is assigned, then it becomes 1002. This is how the entire flow works. Let's see how it works. Look at this. This is where we start uh, creating mobile instance. Mob1 is the first instance. We create it, assign attributes. Then mobile bra mobile ID, we are trying to assign a mobile ID. Mobile ID is 1000 is assigned. Then what we do is mobile.counter, which is created at a class level, right? So now it is getting incremented. Then second object is created, second instance, mob2, attributes are assigned. Then this becomes 1002. The third attribute is created. So we are able to do this, create a static counter using static variable as well as and a reference variable. Then finally, we print mobile object IDs using them. So we print one by one and see that. So it gives output as a follow. Mobile ID for mobile is 1000, then 1001, then 1002, then finally it gives us current value mobile.counter gives us current value. XC7, write a Python program to generate tickets for online bus booking based on the class diagram given below. So ticket is the class name and we have attributes like passenger name, ticket ID, source, destination and we have a static variable. Uh, it, is, it is mentioned, it is, a, it is not a public, it is, it is not a private, it is a public. Then we have a method uh, init which is used to initialize attributes of the object. Then we have methods like validate source destination Gen generate ticket, then get ticket, get passenger name, get source, get destination, all are getters. <coughs> the business rule, initialize static variable counter to zero, validate source destination, this method, validate source and destination, source must always be Delhi and destination can be either Mumbai, Chennai, Pune or Kolkata. If both are valid, return true, else return false. Generate ticket, validate source and destination. If valid, generate ticket as uh, generate ticket ID and assign it to attribute ticket ID. Ticket ID should be generated with the first letter of source followed by first letter of destination and auto generated value starting from 0, 01. Look at this, they say 0, 01. But we might use counter, but what counter says is we will start at 0. The next value is 1, but it does not. So for the first 9 digit, we will have to say 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, up to 0, 09 because we need to have two digits, it is very important. So else ticket ID, uh, set ticket ID as none. Perform case insensitive string comparison, fine. For testing create objects of ticket class, invoke generate ticket method on ticket object, display ticket ID, passenger name, source, destination. In case of error, invalid data, display appropriate error message. Logic is quite simple. So we have a uh, counter static variable, then we have uh, private attributes like uh, passenger name, ticket ID, source, um, destination all that we are passing parameter to set these values. Ticket ID alone will not be, uh, will set none for now. now. Then we have getter for all the four. Then we have this uh, validate source. Validate source is very simple. When, when we assign source for the, uh, you know, source attribute, whatever value we have received, we are converting it to lowercase and assigning it. For destination, we are converting it to lowercase and assigning it. So we check whether it is a def, the source equal to equal to Delhi. If it is so, then we go for one more uh, if nested if. So we check the destination. If it is of any of these, Mumbai, Chennai, Pune, Calcutta, then we say return true. Otherwise, we return false. The generate ticket, <coughs> quite simple. If the validation is done, source and destination, if they are validated, then what we do is we increment ticket counter, counter uh, value. Counter is a static variable. So we use class name to access it. Uh, if it is less than 10, because we need to have a 10 two digit number. If it is Chennai, Delhi and uh, destination is, so source is Delhi and uh, destination is Bombay. Then we say DB. Then we need to have 01. 
so just to add a 0 1 what it was we simply add if it is less than 10 because it gives us only one digit so what we do is we add string of 0 simply add string of 0 otherwise <coughs> if it is greater than 10 uh, greater than 9 then we don't have to worry about it uh, 10 also has two digit so it, it, it works automatically after converting all that what we do is we um, <coughs> return the ticket convert into uppercase then otherwise we set the ticket id to none so this is the region let's visualize this the flow moves from here goes up all these values are set the instance of objects are initialized now we, we generate ticket <coughs> we move to generate ticket and generate ticket <coughs> calls this function validate validate source destination it goes up checks for source and destination if it is true it comes back in this example delhi and mysore which are which are invalid right here look at this it says the destination is mysore and delhi is uh, source source is right but uh, since it is um, a different uh, destination so it is going to set ticket id as none let's have let's test with a valid source and destination now the uh, source is uh, delhi and destination is chennai so we're calling out this method generate ticket so it has validate uh, source and destination goes up it checks if it is delhi yes it is delhi current source is delhi it is true then it checks so the source is chennai both are valid so this is this function will return true look at this it returns true so if it is true now it is it is time to generate ticket look at this if ticket counter ticket counter ticket dot counter ticket dot counter is here it is zero so if it is less than 10 yes it is less than 10 what we need to do is we need to append a zero take first letter of source take first letter of destination and also add zero append zero then finally append ticket counter and what we do before that we increment the ticket counter value to one that is what we do here look at this in this step so ticket counter value is incremented now we are generating ticket id is currently none we need to set it after this line you would see that uh, source is delhi d chennai dc uh, counter value is one so it has to give us zero one dc zero one should be the ticket number look at this we will have to convert to uppercase and return it look at this we are converted to uppercase and return it that's the logic behind this i hope you are able to understand this So this passes all the test cases.